Multiple myeloma is a very heterogeneous disease with very different outcomes in patients. Even though the median overall survival for myeloma have improved and is almost 8 to 10 years now, a quarter of these patients would still die within the first uh, 3 to 4 years. We have made great strides in understanding what drives the outcome in these patients with short survival and the high risk nature of the disease in these patients seem to be driven primarily by the genetic abnormalities that we see in the disease. In addition to the genetic abnormalities, there are other characteristics of the tumor cells as well as changes in the host and changes that happen due to interaction between the host and the tumor cell which all drive the high risk behavior of myeloma in some patients. Moreover, it is not a static uh, feature, it changes over time. Patients who present with uh, standard risk multiple myeloma over the years as they go through different progressions can transform to high risk multiple myeloma. We have made great strides also in trying to change our therapy according to the risk assessment of these patients. However, still a lot of work that needs to be done both in terms of better understanding the biology and also developing new therapeutic modalities 